Hey there. In this video, we are going to be talking about rules. Um, expect three parts from these videos. Uh, this first one will be around auto assigning chat and auto tagging social media, two of the more common requests we get within Gorgeous. So the first thing that you need to do is navigate over to your settings and then head over to rules, which is under the general tab. And on the top right, you wanna create a new rule. So I'm going to go ahead and name this auto assign agent to chat. And since it's pretty descriptive, I'm going to go ahead and skip the description. But I always encourage you to add a description just so that if someone else comes into your help desk, they kind of understand the intention behind the rule. So in this case, when the ticket is created, then we're going to go ahead and add in our if statement. So the when here is going to be the trigger. And then we're going to set up the condition. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the condition that if the ticket status is open and the message from our agent is false, um, we are going to go ahead and then also add in um, the channel because we want to make sure that all the uh, chat, chats go to a certain person. So, um, you know, if the ticket is open and no one has responded and the ticket channel is checked, then we're going to go ahead and add in an action and we're going to go ahead and assign an agent as, in this case, I'll go ahead and use my colleague, Jessica. So what will happen here is right now I'm just going to go ahead and save the rule and not save the rule. And if I go ahead and toggle this on, on the right hand side, this rule will start firing. So whenever a new ticket is created, if it's open and no one's responded and the ticket channel is chat, it'll automatically get assigned to Jessica. Um, so this one's pretty straightforward. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team. Now, the next rule I want to show you is how to auto tag uh, a social media post as well as auto close it. So close. Or, and in this case, we want to auto close anything where people are just adding their friends. So, for example, um, when you want, you know, a friend to see a certain post, you'll just add them. And a lot of the times these tickets will come into your gorgeous where, of course, you don't really need that um, to kind of clog up your IG or your Facebook views. Um, so in this case, the trigger that we're using is when the ticket is created and we're going to replicate this portion of the um, assign, assigning the agent. So I'll go ahead and add in the if, so if ticket status is open and the message from agent is false and the ticket I want to use, so I'm trying to isolate where um, the Facebook will come from. So I'm going to do ticket channel is, actually, my mistake here. We want to go ahead and use the entire integration. So I'm going to go ahead and use message integration is, and I'm going to put in our Facebook. So let me find that. There we go. I will go ahead and use this. Um, then we're going to add in another one. So if message body starts with at, and um, you could go ahead and add in another condition. So like, for example, if the ticket tags um, does not contain any of, let's say, for example, negative, because I'm sure like a negative comment, you would want to kind of keep track of that and make sure that nobody, um, you know, is kind of saying negative things on your Facebook or Instagram page. Or maybe um, you want to add in another one like social question. Um, so these are probably going to be tags that are triggered by an auto tag rule that you have set up. Um, but this is a condition where if you do have other tags going off on your social media, that if these tags do exist within a ticket, um, this auto tag will not go off. So from here, we are going to go ahead and add in a set status. So um, we're going to close that immediately. And then we also want to add tags. 
Um, I would always recommend adding tags to any rule that you create because it's an easy way to ensure that what you're doing is actually um, working as expected and you can kind of keep track of the um, number of times that this rule goes off. So in this case, we're going to put auto close and we're also going to go ahead and put in Instagram app. That way within our statistics, we can always see, you know, um, what and how many times this rule is being used. So I'll go ahead and hit save. And then again, on the right hand side and go ahead and turn it on. And so now anytime someone just go ahead and adds their friend, those tickets will get auto closed. So they no longer clog up your Facebook or Instagram views. I hope this helps. And once again, feel free to use the chat bubble down here or to reach out to support at gorgeous.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions.